back down to the dungeon. We're going to get a taste test. I left the one out I wanted. And we're going to do the, uh, today, we're going to get a sample on the, uh, the cherry wine that we made back in uh, December of 2016. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? We'll take this one upstairs and we'll get a taste All test. All right, we're going to get another uh, taste at the Stoneyard Vineyards little wine bar here. And this time it's going to be cherry wine. I made a gallon of this cherry wine back in December of uh, 2016. And it was bottled in June, according to the label, June of 2017, uh, June of 2017, making it uh, six years old. Did I do my math right? Since bottling, it's six years Since bottling it's six years. Since bottling it's six years. So here's the label on the cherry wine. Sweet cherry wine, so very fine. We drink it up, pass it all around, that song. Everybody knows that song. I think they know it. So uh, it came in at 13%. It's hard to read the label here. It was really dark. But, uh, yeah, 13%. We're going to uh, get this open and get a taste test on this one and see if I can do this without... Uh, so this has been down in the basement there for six years. And we're just going with some taste tests because uh, <laughs> it's time to have a wine. Why wouldn't we? So we're going to open this one with that uh, famous wine opener that I always goof up. Let's see if I goof it up this time. <laughs> you put it in there like that. You squeeze the handle. You lift it up. It pushes the corkscrew in, and then you lift it up back this way, and out comes the cork. Boy, I did it right. I didn't break the bottle or nothing. How you doing? I'm doing just fine today. So here we go. After six years, we're going to see what it looks like. Of course, I expect it to be nice and cherry. We'll pour the white one here first. Had a lot of oak in this, so we're hoping, we're hoping she's a good one, but... Uh, We'll find out. I'll end up drinking it anyway, probably, because I don't like to waste anything. So it looks like we got about the same amount. So for 13 and a quarter percent, I checked my sheet. Showing she's got some legs. Once again, the camera's not going to pick that up. Beautiful legs. The smell is a, a very dark, oaky very oaky smell because I know I used a whole uh, spiral in a gallon jug which last time we tasted it ended up being too much but she's got beautiful legs the color is really 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 nice uh, it's like a cranberry juice color so the smell once again is oaky and tart I'm gonna get a taste test on it and see what she tastes like Hmm. Definitely has mellowed out Definitely from the last time I had it. It tastes very sweet. Wow. It has a sweet taste to it. The Mrs. Sweet taste. Shaking her, her head trying to make out what the hell it was. It just was very oaky. Flavor. Very oaky. Last time we had it, she did not like this at all. Now, what do you think? Do you think it progressed over time? I think it did um, mellow out. It's got a much better aroma. It's almost like a burgundy. Oh, wow. A burgundy. Hmm. Is it something? Definitely you get that dark cherry flavor. You're getting a flat cherry right now, yeah. Take the first cla the first sip. You get a little of an alcohol bite. Not very strong. It goes down very easy, and it's, you get a warming sensation in the stomach at thirteen and a quarter percent. Like I say, it's got great legs, and you do taste the cherry after all. This was made with pure Welch's, I believe, grape 
or grape. <laughs> Pure Welch's uh, cherry juice. I think I had uh, two 32 ounce, uh, whatever made up a gallon. It's, it's just the pure juice in there, no sugars added. You can smell uh, the oak in there for sure. Well, definitely much better than the pineapple. Over some of the store bought and wines that I do not like. I always give mine a good good rating because it seems to uh, they seem to taste good. My pineapple wine, not so much. Um, but you do taste the, the cherry in there. I would like it to be a little stronger tasting cherry. But the sweetness overrides that. And starting off from a tart cherry, it's uh how she got sweet, I have no idea. But it was my juice time, my kid. I, I did a cherry juice. I did a pineapple juice. Then I did an apple with a blackberry uh, syrup infused into it. And I called it apple blackberry wine. Of course, that one was fantastic, and we drank that right up. We drank all five bottles the first year it was made. I have no samples of that left whatsoever. <laughs> is this the last one of this? Or no, there's four more. Because we had one bottle of this in the beginning when it was first made, and both of us did not really care for it. It was so oaky, dry, and now it's picked up a sweetness, which I have no idea how that happens. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what are you thinking? Oh, like, I'm, you're, you're the wine connoisseur. Oh, our wines, yeah, not well, all. Well, your wines. Any wines? Well, how would you rate this compared? About a four, four and a half. About a four out of a ten? Yeah. And she does a four out of a ten. I like the cherry taste. I'll give it about a six out of ten. Because I like it a little bit better than she does, I guess. So that just means more for me than for her. After she has a glass of this, it'll mellow out on her. It's crystal clear, too. And she'll want another one. She'll say, oh, this isn't too bad after all. <clears throat> Of course, that could be the alcohol going to the brain, saying, geez, I'll take another one of those. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. The yolk is, has dissipated. Well, I, I'm actually liking this. Definitely not as strong as it was. I don't know how that works either. And the oak has dissipated, you're saying? Yeah. It's the way that they, they, they go in there, they, they tan and uh, I forget a lot of the wine terms because I'm not a professional, but uh, after they sit, they seem to, uh, we'll use the word mellow out. Could be a hippie term or not, not sure. So it's not too bad. We got a fire going again. It's a night, another cold day. We ended up with uh, two, three inches of snow overnight. I had my mat out there, or not overnight, here in the afternoon. It started this morning. And I actually filmed that, showing the, how the mat melts the ice. Don't know if I'll put that video up. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but otherwise, it's warming up in here nicely. I don't know if it's from the wine or the, uh, the fire itself. So, it's a combination. I'm going to take another sip of this. I'm going to take another little bit of my glass. Why wouldn't I? Sir. The color is fantastic. Once again, it's a still wine. There's no uh, carbonation to any of this whatsoever. I it, <laughs> it came from the basement, so it's still cold. It's uh, 58 degrees down there. It's like a perfect wine cellar. Oh, no, oh it's, really, it's really good. Definitely much more flavorful than the last time. I gotta start labeling my bottles one, two, three, four, five, and six when I do a gallon thing. Because if you're it's your last bottle and you're transferring from the carboy or a demi jar jar, jar like I did, used on this one, demi jar, can't even say the word. <laughs> and it's the last one, you're gonna pick up some sediment, maybe some leftover yeast, and maybe that first glass of wine and the first bottle you have is very tart and geez, you don't like it at all. You don't like it at all. 
put the second bottle in that was not the last bottle it doesn't have any sediment we tried not to get any sediment like I say this wine was aged from December to June that's six months and a lot of times I go longer on my meads the longest I've gone on was a pineant and I went a full year and there's nothing wrong with that leaving it bulk age and a carboy less chance of infection everything else so Once again, she does, you, this camera does not, oh, I spill it, and it's not going to pick up on the legs. So, once again, from my wine bar to your wine bar, Stoneyard Vineyards to everybody else out there. Cheers. Cheers. Should have started with playing into the glasses, but. Yeah, we're, we're going to, I'm going to finish this bottle. I don't know if you're going to partake in it, but. I'll finish my glass. I'm going to finish the bottle, no problem.